Hello friends, we are going to be looking at reinforced concrete column jacketing and how to apply it using protest structure in this presentation. Once again, you are very welcome. I'm so freezing. And so I see this provision. Let me just click on this ST layout. On this still layout so you can see the uh, reinforcement arrangement for the jacketing provision. This is the, the center column, this green line, right, is the original column sections, while this side that has been reinforced is the jacket, uh, jacketed uh, provisions and the thickness, which is 150. So you can see that it's been done successfully. And then if you click on the interactive design, um, you will notice that if you carry out interactive design, you can see uh, the steel member there is uh, 40 uh, T12, all right? This is the area is being designed successfully. Let's get started. At first, column jacketing is applied to reinforced concrete column that is already very weak. And it is another method of retrofitting structure or structural elements. And so for you to be able to apply it, column jacketing in protest structure, you have to model the structure in which you will apply that uh, jacketing successfully. So once you carry out the structural modeling, you apply all the necessary load on the structure. You apply all the necessary wall load as well as the slab load on the structure successfully. After which, you will carry out the analysis of the structural element as well as design of the structural element. Once you have done that, then you are set to apply it, the jacketing to the specific columns. For instance, in this video, I will be applying column jacketing to this column, this one, and this one. This three columns are the first, second, and the third floor, right away, to use and demonstrate how this works effectively. All right. So at first, you need to check the column to ensure that analysis is being carried out successfully. So if you right-click and click on column section design, you will notice that the analysis results are not up to date. Okay, so you click on OK options and then it will actually show us because I have analyzed the structure before. So you can see the column being analyzed and designed and then the reinforcement is selected just like this. As you click on interactive design, you can see I have a 12 T25 for that particular column. All right, click on the OK options, OK options. Okay, so with this now, I can either choose to reanalyze the structure or I proceed to insert the column jacketing because I have analyzed the structure before. All right, so to not place the column jacketing, you have to get the column that you want to apply the jacketing to, get it selected. So if I should select this one, I will hold, the, hold down the control key on the keyboard and I'll be able to select the first floor columns, second floor as well as third floor and I want to be apply the jacketing to these three columns. So getting it selected just like this, you just have to right click and then in the option drop down menu, you can see insert column jackets just like this. So select it right away. You will be given a column jacket property dialog just like this. And this property dialog, you will be given a provision to you know impute the jacketing thickness. All right, and then there is also an option whether you want to delete the original columns or non-moment transferring jacket you want to provide. In this case, it is a moment transferring jacket we are considering, and these are the necessary materials. Okay, so you can select any material depending on the strength you needed for that particular columns. All right, so it is a concrete, the type of material is a concrete. And so the concrete grade is C25 slash 30. The reinforcement steel grade is grade 460 type 2. All right, so once you have been selected all of these options, find this way, you can have, cannot proceed to click on the OK option and also you can as well jacket steel, alright? 
So in this case, we are considering reinforced concrete. So getting all of this imputed successfully, just have to click on the OK options. So once you click on the OK options, you can see the thickness of these three columns is far bigger than these ones again. So the jacketing is being applied to these three columns successfully. So for instance, if I should uh, omit it, After have to deselect this command first, then omit this. You can see that uh, the jacketing is applied successfully to this column. Let me delete this column temporarily. All right. I want to delete this temporarily so that you actually see the jacketing. All right. So I will select this so you can see that is the jacketing. The original column is this one, while this outer thickness you see is 150 jacketing to this original column that you see at the center. This one. All right. So this is how you actually apply jacketing to reinforced concrete column in proto structure. If I should undo to get the fat floor columns back just like this. So with this you wouldn't need to carry out uh, you just have to check the column section. Click on okay it is because i deleted this column so that has actually nullified the analysis okay it has actually nullified the analysis so if i should carry out the analysis again and try that again so after applying the jacketing to the respective column the next thing you need to do you have to carry out the analysis of the structure after you must have carried out the analysis of the structure you have to now start checking the uh, the columns in which you apply the jacketing to see that the columns are passed even with the jacketing particularly the jacketing provision have been reinforced successfully and so let's go ahead and check that out i have run analysis on this structure so i'll select the first jacket third column right click and then i'll come to column section design and I will have this. You can see. So you can see this provision. Let me just click on this uh, steel layout. On this steel layout, so you can see the uh, reinforcement arrangement for the jacketing provision. This is the the center column. This green line, right, is the original column sections. While this side that has been reinforced is the jacket uh, jacketed uh, provisions and the thickness, which is 150. So you can see. That is being done successfully and then if you click on the interactive design um you will notice that if you carry out interactive design so you can see uh, the steel member there is uh, 40 uh, t12 all right this is the area it's been designed successfully click on the okay options just like this okay so after which you click on the okay again so for the next one let me check the next one i right click and then click on the uh, column sections in the design right there so you see this provision this one has not been designed the jacketed provisions have not been reinforced successfully okay so if i click on the interactive design now you see the sixty member size limit exceeds date all right number of bars must be increased like this so what do we do here yeah, i will show you in a minute click on okay options after which come to the steel layout click right there on the steel layout then come straight away to automatic containment this one click right there and then click on okay you see the steel has been generated to the you know jacketed provisions now because we wouldn't want to you know reinforce this main reinforcement main uh, column we are reinforcing the jacketed provisions which you can see just like this okay so click on the okay options and then try to carry out the interactive design again because we hope to design the uh the jacketed provision so this as past designs you can see t 10 t 12 all right click on the okay options so we have reinforced uh, the jacketed uh, provisions which the thickness is 150 successfully click on the okay option the same thing applicable to this provision so right click right there and then check that out just like this you will notice that uh, the 150 thickness of the jacket is not reinforced this side okay so if you carry out the design the steel bar size limit exceeded so click on okay go to the steel layout right there and then use automatic containment click on ok 
and then it will be extend to reinforce the thickness of the jacket all together just like this click on the ok options and then carry out the interactive design you see in this case the steel bar limit still exceeded okay so once you have the repeated itself what you need to do i will show you in a minute click on ok options and then come back to steel layout all right click on this automatic containment again it's going to reselect the rebars that we be capable of carrying the jacket in as well as the load that is coming on this particular column successfully click on automatic containment click on ok so it's going to now arrange the reverse in this format right so this format now we just have to select ok options right there to have it placed here carry on target design let's check if it will pass all right so you can now see you have a stiba 40 t12 okay which has been reinforced within the jacket jacketed thickness all right so click on the OK options and OK options. So in this way, you can't be able to retrofit any column that you think is very weak in your structure. And we stop here. See you in the next lesson. But don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any question, drop it at the comment section. Bye for now.